In this video I will talk about Corona for Cinema 4D. So this is a plugin uh, which will help you to create very beautiful uh, renderings uh, like this and you will create uh, uh, realistic uh, visuals, visualization, architectural visualization and uh, interior design and so on. So you can just have a look on the gallery. This is the coronarenderer.com website, which is the official uh, Corona website. You can have a look to all the different uh, type of application that uh, you can, uh, all the different uh, effects and, um, you know, the fields that you can uh, uh, use this uh, renderer. So let's go back on the top of the page and uh, let's go to Corona download Corona right here. This is the download page. And as you can see, Corona is available for two software, two uh, type of software, which is uh, one is uh, 3ds Max and the other is Cinema 4D. So you don't have much choice. You either uh, install 3ds Max and install Corona for 3ds Max or uh, you do that for Cinema 4D. And this is the number five version of Corona. So, uh, basically, you have to install Corona for one of these. And in another video, I already uh, show you how to uh, download and install 3DS, Corona for 3DS Max. In this video, we will do pretty much the same thing with Cinema 4D. There are some differences, though. So, for Cinema 4D, also, you have the option to uh, install it on Windows or Mac OS. So, you have two types of uh, installation package. We will select the Windows one for this video. So I will click on this. And as soon as I click, I should have a download package right here. I have already downloaded in the meanwhile. So this, I will just abort the, the, the second one. Okay, once you have downloaded this, you will find this on the download um, folder unless you have specified uh, another destination. And we will just extract, extract this on this uh, destination. Sorry about the Italian language. This is the operating system that I use using, but I will uh, uh, explain to you everything so you won't miss anything. So this is the extracted folder and this is the installation. So I will double click on this and I will just say, okay, move on. And just waiting a few seconds for the wizard to start. Okay, let's say yes. And again, a few more minutes, a few more seconds. Okay, this is the, the screen for the installation wizard. So let's... Uh, just put everything down here. Let's uh, install this uh, application pretty quick. So uh, if you don't want to buy, uh, you want to just try Corona, you can do this for 35 days. So this is a pretty much uh, long time. So you can test the, the software. You can see if it's uh, something that uh, you are comfortable with, that you like. So. I suggest you try it for 45 days before you buy it, but uh, then you can buy it and it costs 25 uh, euros or dollars, whatever, per month. Okay, let's go back. And so the installation for the trial or for the actual software is the same. The only things that change are the, the passages where you have to insert the license. Okay, let's, let's move on. Let's click on next. And here you can choose to update uh, already installed version of Corona, or you just have, you can select a custom installation, or you just go to unpack the files. And you can choose where to unpack this, uh, everything uh, up. So I, I think I will just unpack this on documents, or you can do it on the downloads, whatever. So I will click on unpack. And, okay, just let's press continue. 
And now what it's doing is just downloading, installing actually, and now it will start to download some extra content that I suggest you you wait for it because it's pretty important to have some uh, you know libraries and things like that when you start working with a new software these things will help you to um, to understand more quickly the software so as you can see we just have to wait a bit because there is pretty much to download right here so I, I will just leave it like this uh, perhaps you can uh, you know, stop anything else in your computer that it's uh, downloading, so it's uh, faster. Okay, while it, this is doing this, let's go to Cinema 4D because uh, you may uh, don't have uh, Cinema 4D installed, so I will show you also how to install Cinema 4D. Just go to Cinema 4D. Um, download and let's go again on the official site okay so you can uh, as uh, you did with the other software you can uh, buy it or try it again we will try it so let's just go uh, on the results page let's click on try maxim and as you can see this is still in italian you can change your language uh, right here on the top uh, right and you can uh, try it for 14 days so only 14 days for cinema 4d and 45 for uh, corona so this is a bit uh, of a difference okay you can download it for pc for mac again and once you did that, you do that, you will just uh, launch the installer as well. Okay, so here I have the setup. So I will just double click on this icon and press yes. And while Corona render is still downloading, I will down uh, install also Cinema 4D. So let's proceed. Let's go uh, forward and choose the directory for the installation. And let's. Uh, I can select a different folder as well. So I can put this uh, anywhere I want. Uh, I have um, an hard disk for the apps which is this one so I will install this on uh, this directory let's uh, um, okay let's create a folder actually so I will create a folder right here on uh, in this um, directory so it's this one okay let's do new sorry you don't see it okay and i will call it cinema 4d r21 which is the last version okay and again i'm going back to the installation and I will select this folder right here. Okay, let's move on. And again, let's move on. And I'm installing right now. So just, I have to wait. Okay, so Cinema 4D is now installed. I don't want to launch it right now. Let's click on finish. And let's see, okay, also the Corona it has been installed, so I have both installed. And if we go in the download folder, I will see all the files that um, are coming from Corona, which is this first folder right here. And these are all stuff that you may need, so I suggest you don't delete it, just leave it there. And also these are the various um, 
as you can see folders for the versions of Cinema 4D. In this case, we will need this plugin right here. And we will have to put this one on the plugins folder of uh, Cinema 4D. So let's click on with the right mouse button. Let's select copy. So we'll copy all these folder right here. And you should also find uh, a readme file somewhere that will tell you about what to do with the um, unpacked uh, things uh, that you will uh, have there. So let's close everything up right here. And let's go to the folder where uh, Cinema 4D was installed, which is uh, for me, it's, uh, it's this hard disk right here where I created the folder. And I will double click on this. And what will happen is uh, that you will not find a folder called plugins except for this one, which is actually exchange plugins. So if I double click on this, Inside, I will not find what I'm looking for, which is uh, a folder called plugins, and that's it. So I have to create it. So let's click on the right mouse again, and I will select on uh, new folder, and I will call this folder plugins. Okay, I will double click on this right mouse again. And I will paste the folder that I have took from the download folder, the version that I will use of Cinema 4D. Uh, the Corona files are inside this. Okay, now, now everything should be set up. We just have to run uh, Cinema 4D to make